Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you could stop here today. I'm talking about the Ace Beauté Oceanic Palette. So we're going to talk briefly about the palette. We're going to do some swatches and I have three looks with this palette because I really felt like this palette deserved three looks, okay? So if you guys have not seen this, this is the newest addition to the Ace Beauté family and this is called the Oceanic Palette and it is gorgeous. It is definitely a blue green palette. If you're a beauty lover and you've been wanting something different, this is different, okay? And it is gorgeous. The tones just stand out. So this palette retails for $38.99 and is available now. Um, however, there are multiple discount codes uh, rolling around on the website <laughs> or out there floating around on Instagram that you can find to save 10% off. I think I paid about $5 for shipping. And like I said, the palette is available now and it came out about a week ago. So you should not have an issue picking this up. I think the packaging is gorgeous and it came with a unicard that I inadvertently threw away. Don't, don't hurt me. I'm sorry. I threw it away. So, but the package is gorgeous and a unicard actually looked like this also. And it actually has the same type of almost packaging as the uh, flare palette. And I do believe that this palette is actually a permanent addition to their collection. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about a few specifics of the palette and then we'll go ahead and get into the swatches. Okay, so reading from the Ace Beauty website, some facts about the palette since in early, I threw away the unicorn in my haste to uh, clean up this evening. The Oceanic palette uh, provides a unique color story consisting of 15 colors that can use to create show-stopping looks. And each color has been carefully milled and pressed to provide the easiest application and most excellent color payoff. There are 15 shades in this palette and six of them are metallic, okay? And then, Ace Beauty, uh, Ace Beauté, excuse me, that's how they actually pronounce it, is vegan and cruelty free, and the palette net weight is 24 grams or 0.84 ounces. And Ace Beauté is actually here in the United States. So let's go ahead and get swatching. Okay, the first shade we have is Bora Bora. Ooh. The second shade we have is Jellyfish. It's beautiful. These shimmers are very thick and very metallic. Third shade here we have is Mykonos. And this shade is beautiful. One of my favorite shades in the palette. The next shade we have is Blue Clam, which is a cobalt blue. The next shade we have is Pacific which is beautiful, which is a deep teal. Do you see the pigment <laughs> in these shades? And then the next shade we have is Bali. The next shade we have is Fiji, which is beautiful as well. Then we have Turtle. And then we have Marina. This palette is super easy to swatch. The next shade we have is Bay. That bright blue. Then we have Anemone. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but it's another gorgeous color, metallic. And then we have Algae. Then the last three, we have Seaweed. Seagrass. And then Lagoon. And these are the swatches. And this palette is pigmented, as you will see during the demo. This is one pass, and I barely had to dig in the palette to get these swatches. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in with look one for this palette. I have my eyelids primed using the Too Faced Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. And if you see my mascara, it's because I have all my makeup from when I went to work and my highlighter and stuff, but I didn't wear any eyeshadow, so. 
just do on some concealer so we can prime. So only because I just need a color that is my complexion, I'm gonna go in using with the Proceed With Caution just to grab this shade Culture. But other than that, we're sticking to the palette for this particular look. But I just wanna throw this right up here by the brow bone just so these bright colors will have something to blend into. <clears throat> and just to help me buff out a shade or two if I need it. And you can take any color that is your skin complexion to achieve this. And I'm using my Sephora Pro uh, number 10 Deluxe Crease Brush for that. So that's all with that. That's I just wanted to share that with you guys. So going in with this palette is beautiful. Uh, I was just like, I don't even know where I want to start. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the shade uh, Seaweed, which is this grungy green. I think my first look, I want it to be very grungy. And I'm gonna start with this Wayne Goss number 17 brush. And I'm just gonna put this like right underneath where we did that first stage, first shade. And I'm just gonna kind of angle it more so up instead of across, going upwards. This shade is blending out very nicely. Mm -hmm. It's pigmented too. So, and I'm just gonna feather up those edges right there. So just smoothing out the edges. And I'm going back in just a little bit more. And I'm just gonna make sure we kind of bring it out towards a little point on the end. Ooh, that look is, that color is nice and pigmented. I mean, it really shows up. And I just apply, I didn't apply a whole lot. I did go in, but I started off with not a whole lot on my brush just to make sure like I wouldn't have a lot of fallout or anything like that. Okay, going in with my Sonya G Worker Pro, I'm gonna take the shade right here called Pacific and it's a really dark green. It looks like almost a blue green. Hmm. No, let's see. I'm gonna take turtle. I'm gonna go in with turtle. Change my mind. Ooh. Okay. Well. And that was just a couple of pats. Like that was me dipping into the palette once. Oh wow. Okay. Now I'm just putting that in the outer corner. <laughs> so. That's all I'm doing, literally. Okay, going back in with that Wayne Goss brush that I had before, I'm just going to get this together right here. Up in that green shade out. Now I'm picking up my Tarte brush, favorite little Tarte brush that I use. Going in with Aninamo, I, I don't know how you pronounce the shade, but <laughs> we're gonna go in with that shade. And I'm just gonna fill in the blank space. That green, that turtle, oh my gosh. And I'm just gonna pack this right here on the lid. Ooh, that color is nice also. And I did not wet it. First, I'm gonna lay it down dry because I just want you guys to see how it performs dry. Okay, now I'm just gonna clean up my blending just a tiny bit more, going back in with that first little, going back in with that first transition shade, that Culture. Going back, MAC 224, Culture. Just cleaning up my blending at the top. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and this is the first look. I think it came out so great. 
and it was super easy to create. You saw I just used those three shadows and I uh, added my Kiss Ritzy lashes and then I'll leave the rest of my makeup details down below. But I think that the uh, mattes were super pigmented, like that shade Turtle. All I had to do was just pat it right there and the pigmentation came instantly. I didn't have to build it up. I mean, I literally just did two pats and I was with the same amount of pigment that I picked up on my brush uh, to begin with. I didn't have to go back in with it. Uh, I'm not sure what the name of the shade is, but Anemone, uh, the shimmer shade, it was super foil. I did not wet it, but uh, I did use a smaller brush, so I did have to kind of pack it on a lot, but it didn't really matter. But I think the turnout is beautiful. It has lots of shine to it. It's very foiled. It's a very bright slash olivey, dirty green, and I love it. And then the color seaweed, it was just a nice accent to kind of kick the look off, and I love how that's such a muddy green. But it does not turn muddy, but you do have to be careful. If you blend it out too much, it will kind of turn muddy, but that's why I put down that first shade. So this is the first look. Hope you guys like it. So let's go into look two, and I found some earrings. They're from Express, if you want to know. I did get them recently within the last box. So let's go to look two. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in with look two. I have reprimed my eyelids using the Too Faced Butterscotch Concealer. And, where the shade is in Butterscotch. So we're gonna go ahead. I am going ahead with culture because in the real world, mm -hmm, y'all not gonna blend green all the way up to your eyebrow. <laughs> so going back in with just a light layer using that Sephora Pro number 10 brush. Going in with my Wayne Goss number 17. I am going to take the shade Fiji, which is a nice bright aqua color. Excited to play with this. Whew, that looks pigmented. And I'm just gonna start stamping this into that transition slash crease area and then kind of blend it out. Oh, it's pigmented too, but I'm not working with a whole lot because I don't want to have a lot of fallout. Plus, I just kind of want to control the color. And I'm just going to lightly feather those edges out. I'm going to stamp a little bit more pigment right there, though. There we go. Woo! Y'all can't tell me this ain't bright. And then I'm going to pack it into that little outer V area. I'm just making sure I have no spaces in the color. That is pretty. Y'all, <laughs> look at that. And that didn't take a lot of effort. Okay, so. Going in with my Sephora uh, magnetic brush. You, <laughs> you heard the other brush crashing into it. I'm going to go in with Blue Clam. Right here, that nice bright blue shade. And I'm gonna pack it in right here on that outer V. And I'm just really taking it here. I might not drag it in the crease just yet, but uh, who am I kidding? It's going up there just a tiny bit. These colors are performing so well for blues. Oh my gosh, and greens. Blues and greens, purples also are so hard to formulate. Going in with the shade Mykonos. Oh, look at that shade. Mykonos is definitely a place I want to visit. And I'm gonna go ahead and pat that in. It's showing up very foil. And the shimmers on here, they're very vibrant but they do require some packing on and maybe a, like a synthetic brush. A natural hair brush, I can see a little bit harder to pack on, but you definitely don't need to wet them. And I'm gonna fuse that color in with that blue clam color.
Okay, let's blend this out. Get that shape a little bit more precise. Going in with my Wayne 17 again. I'm just gonna start blending around the edges. And remember, we do have that shade culture down. Oh my goodness. And the shade that these two make together, that blue clam with the color Fiji, and I'm just lightly buffing those edges. It looks so much better. Going back with that MAC 224, dipping in with the shade Culture, just to help our blending efforts. Right there, just to soften. I really wanna see how algae looks, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a flat, I'm gonna take my Flat Builder Pro brush right here by Sonya G. So pigmented, and I'm gonna dab this in the inner corner. Oh man, it's like, it's, it's really lying. Shut the front door. Oh man. Yep, so that's like my inner corner highlight. And that blends and pack, that packs on and blends in with that shimmer so easily. You don't even have to do anything. I'm literally just patting the two together. And I'm just gonna pick up just a little bit more. Oh my gosh. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I finished up the other eye and put on some lashes, the same lashes I had before, which is a Ritzy Kiss Lashes. And then I followed up with Downtown LA or DTLA um, water liner <laughs> for my waterline by ColourPop, which is this blue. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take a pencil brush. So I have my Sephora pencil brush right here. And let's go in with the shade Lagoon, which is this deep dark blue right here. And we're gonna run this over the waterline, under, bottom lash line. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know what I'm saying. And we're just gonna smoke this out. And I'm gonna try not to make crazy, crazy faces. And I think I'm gonna take, go ahead and take the shade Jellyfish right here. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on the bottom in this little corner right here. Yeah, just a little. Okay, so this is the final look. So I'm going to zoom out so you can see looking in its entire. Okay, so this is the finished look. And whoo, I like this better than the first one. These colors are so bright, but so easy to work with. That shade Fiji, I mean, it just stamped on like aquamarine. All these colors are really hard to make. So, you know, but Mykonos, like I said before, the shimmers are tightly pressed. Uh, you're going to need like a synthetic brush, something that's kind of scratchy. Uh, I just kind of swirl my brush around. But you do get a lot of intensity out of the foil, the shimmers. You do not need to wet them. I think they perform just fine. Uh, algae, super pretty. This is beautiful. And the way it played in the inner corner and just faded in seamlessly with the other shades, it works very well. Um, I'm also surprised about how bright it was because it's not a thin shade. And I remember just even in the flare palette, there was a neon shade. And it was a lot thinner and it wasn't even as pigmented. So I'm very happy about that. Blue Clam is beautiful. It mixed in very well with the shimmer shade. And it had no issues with that. Packing the pigment on, I used Blue Lagoon, or just, sorry, Blue Lagoon, which is the bottom, just underneath the waterline. No issue with that either. Jellyfish, I mean, 
I just popped in there right there, so I can't really say yes, no, it's beautiful. But overall, I just really like how these colors just mesh together so effortlessly. So it just it's just really so far, it's a beautiful palette. So you know what? We got one more look to do, so we're gonna go into look three, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with look number three. So eyelids are primed again with the Too Faced Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. I did go in a little bit with the shade Culture up there. Thinking, I'm trying to like get my game plan. I'm like, what, what do I want to do? I know I want to play with this shade Marina because it's definitely calling my name. And I wanted to put Pacific in the crease. Trying to think of what I'm going to do for my first transition shade. I have not used the shade uh, Bali. So, but I don't know if that's going to pair the greatest with that. I'm like looking. I don't know. We'll, we'll say that for the inner corner. Let's go in with the shade uh, Seagrass. Let's go in with Seagrass. Going in Wayne number 17, picking up the shade Seagrass, and we're gonna take that in the transition area. And I'm just like lightly buffing that on there. You know, even when you kind of just lightly go back and forth, you still have a lot of pigment with these shadows. And usually when you're using a fluffy brush or a brush kind of like how I'm using, even though this brush is a little bit more tapered, you, the pigment just goes everywhere. And you don't get the pigmentation. That you might be looking for unless you're building it up and building it up okay so that is the shade seagrass no issues with that shade at all wonderful starting off like these looks they've been, they been coming out going in with my sonya g worker pro i wiped it off in my little uh face rag that i used going in with pacific Looks like it's a blue-green shade. I'm going to tap that. <laughs> All of these shades, I mean, have been performing great. Tapping that in the inner corner. Now with my Sonya G Worker Curl, I'm going to take the shade Bali. I would love to go to Bali too. And Bora Bora, which is another name. Pressing that in the inner corner. Okay, that shows up not too bad. Okay. Okay, Bali. Yeah, for a light blue. Yeah, I'm mad at it at all. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more. If I haven't mentioned yet, the mirror in here is pretty nice. Okay, go ahead with that tart little synthetic safe brush. I did wipe it off. Fun fact: this is actually the real color of the brush head. <laughs> So, I mean, it's staying, but it's okay. This is the actual color of that brush head. <laughs> Just so you know, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the shade Bora Bora. And see, like, they are tightly pressed, so I've been kind of just doing this just to get the color on there. And it does pick up well. You might just want to tap a little bit off because you do get some, a um, little bit of fallout. And I'm just going to, yeah, I got fallout. <laughs> And so it's like you kind of have to work in sections, but the payoff is amazing. And I totally missed the intersection of my eye. But Okay, hold on. I'm having technical difficulties. I don't know why. I'm like, I can't get shadow in that corner. Okay, there we go. I'm like, it's just like the brush did not want to lay in that little part of my eye. It was like, no, we're good. 
going in, wiped off that brush already, going in with Marina. And this shade, this shimmer seems a little bit softer. I'm just gonna fuse those colors together. Okay, I'm back and this is the final look guys. So I am happy how this one came out too. At first I was like, mm, I don't know, I'm looking in my mirror. Uh, at first I was like, I don't know how I like this one, but I do like it. It came out great. I, um, I'm i loving this palette. So let's go ahead and jump into some final thoughts. So overall, I think this palette is beautiful. The color scheme is beautiful. Let me not bend it back too much. I don't want to break my palette. Um, but the color scheme is beautiful. You have nice greens. You have blues. I wouldn't say like this palette is a blue palette. It is a green palette, but you definitely have a lot of different options. So this palette is not for the faint of heart, okay? You can definitely purchase this palette like an accent palette if you're looking for great mattes, great green, great blue mattes. And even the shimmer shades are very pretty. These mattes are so pigmented. I didn't have any fallout with the mattes as you guys can see. Now the things I did have fallout with were more of the shimmer shades. The shimmer shades are definitely tightly hat and you're going to need to kind of swirl your brush just a little bit to pick up the color but after that they pat on the eyes amazingly and they give a great foil finish and you do not have to wet the brush and if you guys notice in all of my looks I did not wet the brush I had no problems just stamping the colors on and blending out and even when I decided to go ahead and blend out the matte shades when upon the first application I didn't have an issue with that either so when I say this palette is not for the faint of heart I mean if you are a person who are just kind of dabbing <laughs> into blue, dabbling into green. I would say that this palette could be pretty intimidating because of all the mattes. And if you're a person who doesn't normally like to reach outside of a palette to pull in other shades, you're going to be pretty intimidated when just using these shades because there are, isn't a true transition shade in this particular palette. I think the closest that you'll come to a transition-ish shade would be seaweed and then the shade Bali. But even still, uh, I did use culture just to help out the blending of the edges because I mean, at the end of the day, when I'm making a complete look, like I said, I'm not gonna have, you know, green shadow up to here. I'm gonna need something to kind of cover up that concealer and just help those shadows blend in because greens and blues can be very hard to formulate and they can be very hard to blend. But these greens and blue, um, matte shadows they are so pigmented like literally you just need a pat I have seen blues and greens that are patchy these are not patchy you just need to pat it in you don't have to go in too many times you don't have to sit there blending it out literally it took me it did not take me long to complete any of these looks what took me longer was the when I got off camera and I'm sitting there applying liner and I'm sitting there applying lashes and fixing my face you know so I can come back on camera and show you the completed look but overall I'm very impressed even, I'm very impressed with even still with the lighter mattes with Bali and Algae and even Fiji if we're just going to add them in because Fiji was so bright. That is a color that is so hard to formulate. I can't think of really, really trying to think about in all of my palettes, like do I have a matte that is that particular color like aqua marine, like not light blue, not not greenish, light green, but like just strictly aquamarine blue. And then when you couple that with Mykonos, and then I just added in that algae, I mean, the color it came, <laughs> the color rainbow that came out was fabulous. I would say that all of these mattes and shimmers pretty much, they blend very well together. I did not have a problem with that. Now, I did not go in with the shade Bay. I want to say Bay is the only shade that I did not use. That is the only blue that is probably most exclusively blue outside of Bora Bora being a light shimmery blue. Um, and then I didn't really use Jellyfish because I did do the first look using Anima, I don't know, <laughs> uh, 
Animone. I think it's Animone. I don't know. This shade. And those two similar shades are kind of similar in tone. I'm sure that Jelly Fist is a little bit lighter and brighter when I did apply it on my down on the bottom waterline. It did look lighter and brighter. So, again, I do like that this palette also is not just like a strictly straight up blue, straight up green palette, if you know what I mean. These colors are very they're murky, they have a lot of depth to them, they have a lot of twists, they are not pretty much what they appear. So I did pull out my flare palette because if you're familiar with the flare palette, it does have this dark, deep roll of greens. And these greens perform very well. I did not have a problem with it, but I would say that the formula has been stepped up from the flare palette. Um, to the oceanic palette when it's talking about these green shades down below at first when i was looking at the palette i was like oh are they, are they repeat shades but they're not repeat shades nothing is a repeat in here and even when i come here i've I, in the three looks i have used all of the mattes in here and i can definitely say that these mattes are not the same colors at all they're not even the same because even atlantis is more atlantis is very much teal and then you got forest pine as a deep deep teal and then moss is that mossy green of course and then you got sherbet which is that bright green but algae actually performs so much better than algae is in this palette algae performs so much better versus the sherbet uh shade in this flare palette because like i was saying when i was doing the look i was concerned about how uh algae was going to show up was it going to be true was it going to be bright was it going to take a lot to build it up versus sherbet in this particular palette is it's not bad, but ooh, ooh, it can use some work. So the shimmers are definitely tightly packed more in this Oceanic palette versus the Flare palette. I think the shimmers are a little bit softer in here, but you do not have a problem with it at all. The only one that I felt was a little eh and was a little crumbly was the shade Bora Bora, which is this light blue one right here. Other than that, I didn't have a problem using it, but keep in mind, I did not use Bay. But I know this is a first impression, but overall, I'm very thrilled about this palette. I think the palette is excellent quality. I did not have a problem with it. I got a touch, a chance to touch every shade except for Bay, that one shadow I just showed you. Uh, I barely used Jellyfish, but I did get a chance to put it on the lower uh, waterline and I didn't have a problem with it but I think that they did a, such a good job and on my first impression I think this this is a go if this is something you can handle and you were just wondering about the formula I think that you will very much enjoy this palette now if you're a person that's just like mm, I just want a few shades I don't know if this palette is for you because I'm not going to say the palette is $38 I think the palette's excellent quality but if you don't feel like you'll use it enough or you're not a person who's really into these tones this might not be the palette for you and that's just my honest opinion but overall i'm really digging this palette i think it's great and i recommend it so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in another video very very soon so give this video a big thumbs up and let me know what you guys think down in the comments because you know i'm going to respond back and i will talk to you guys later oh it's please subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel i will talk to you guys later bye it's the chair dance for the day that's a horrible chair dance let me there we go that's probably bad too, but I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>